I mean, I think that we're in a, in a unique moment. Um, we had COVID, which make us, made us focus right on, on health, right? Everyone in this country, in this world, is considering their physical health and what that means. We saw then, right, that folks who were disproportionately affected were black and brown people who had COVID, right? Those are the folks that died at a higher rate than others. Um, and then we have the brutal murder, murders of, of black men across this country, uh, black people across this country, I'll say, um, by police brutality, uh, that kind of then layers on an additional um, component to what we're seeing. And so we're in this middle, we're in the middle of like health equity, health being all the things that we experience, whether it's social, emotional, environmental, right, the structures, um, and our personal lives. And I think that um, I've been talking about this for a very long time. Um, and the piece that we're missing is that this isn't necessarily new, might be new to some folks who are just kind of understanding and we welcome you. Thank you. Um, but this is a historical thing. This has been happening for years. We can go all the way back to slavery, right? And where women, black women, black men were used for breeding, where black women were used um, to perform um, tests, gynecological like tests and, and surgeries without anesthesia. Um, moving a little forward, right? We experienced that. We, you know, we ended slavery in a sense, um, you know, to the recent history, um, 1950s, where we have Henrietta Lacks, um, black woman who, without her consent, um, her cells were taken from her. So without her consent, there was a physician who went in, uh, performed exams, and she was basically experimented on. And Henrietta Lacks is really important because, um, you know, what we saw there was really, the, the, the trust that we put, the trust that people, black people, brown people, indigenous folks put into the healthcare system, Henrietta Lacks went to get care. And instead she was experimented on, her cells taken from her. And if you look at that today, we benefit, we still benefit from her, I can't even call it a sacrifice because it wasn't willing. Um, but with the, her cells, the HeLa cells, uh, we have the polio vaccine, we have genetic um, cloning. We have in vitro fertilization due to her cells, which are still alive and being used and tested on. And there was no sense of compensation. There was no even um, just acknowledgement of, of what contribution she gave into healthcare and still gives today. And so from that, right, we, we owe a lot of our current medical benefits that we are all benefit, benefiting from today to women. Birth control pills. So in 1970, about a third of Puerto Rican women were sterilized in order to test and, and create what we have as birth control pills. Um, and, you know, I was born in 84. Like 1970 is not <laughs> that long ago. Um, and so when we look at the history of health and we look at the history of, of both science, health, the social, emotional, where we are today, it's really to the credit of the black women that were used, <laughs> that were experimented on, that, I mean, really, again, unwillingly <laughs> kind of sacrificed their lives, their selves, their families um, to have what we have today. Um, and then beyond that, right, we're now like at this present-ish moment, you know, the, the experiences that we are carrying. Um, I can speak for myself and and for my friends around me, we are in this moment where black women are still working, right? We're still um, taking care of families and being support and building communities and being right creative and, and starting companies to, to solve the challenges that we've seen. And the call today is that we need to acknowledge, right, just the historical piece, but also now support and protect and understand the role of black women in our future. Um, we've talked about, you know, the, the other piece that I want to add is when we look at maternal mortality rates today, where black women die three to four times more likely than their white counterparts, regardless of socioeconomic status. Doesn't matter how much money you make, doesn't matter how smart you are, we are literally dying today. And in a day where we, we can say that we can look at black men who are dying at the hands of police brutality, in many ways, black women are dying at the hands of our medical industrial complex. And the advocacy, the fight isn't the same.